now we are going to learn how to subtract numbers using the same technique jumping tens all right so if i ask you what is 35 minus 12 what would your answer be Thirty-three, twenty-three. Twenty-three is the answer. How? This is thirty-five. So thirty-five minus two, isn't it? Is thirty-three, and then jumping down ten, isn't it? So it would be twenty-three. So do this next one. What is sixty-eight minus fourteen? Sixty-eight minus four is sixty-four, and jumping down ten is fifty-four, isn't it? Sixty-eight minus four is sixty-four, and jumping down ten is fifty-four. As simple as that. Tell me what is seventy-seven minus eighteen? Right. So seventy-seven minus eight is sixty-nine, and fifty-nine. Fifty-nine is your answer. So now listen to it very carefully, okay? And I want the correct answer this time. What is eighty-six minus twenty-four? Yes, this time you got it. So eighty-six minus four is eighty-two. Seventy-two, sixty-two, sixty-two is the answer, isn't it? Eighty-six. Minus twenty four. So eighty six minus four is eighty two. Now jump down ten twice. Okay, so seventy two, sixty two, sixty two is your answer. With this technique, you can easily add or subtract numbers mentally, and that too very quickly, isn't it? Right. So just practice more examples. You will get better and better with this. Then I'll show you how to subtract three digit numbers. All right. That is. Jumping up or down hundred, isn't it? So far we have been jumping tens, but very soon we'll be jumping hundreds. Then perhaps thousands. Then ten thousand. Sky is the limit. All right. So we'll be doing all that. Now, what is ninety-two minus thirty-three? So ninety-two minus three is eighty-nine. Now jump down ten three times from eighty nine, so it would be seventy nine, sixty nine, fifty nine. Fifty nine is your answer. Isn't that simple? You can directly jump down, isn't it? Like from eighty nine, if I have to jump three tens down, then obviously the answer would be fifty nine, because eight minus three is five, isn't it? So from eighty nine, if I jump down ten three times, it would be fifty nine. So you can do it directly, even if you just count it like this. Like seventy nine, sixty nine, fifty nine. Then also is hardly going to take you any time, whichever way you prefer. But right, this technique will work every time. Now, so far in the examples that we have practiced, the number that was being subtracted was always small, and the difference between the two numbers was large, like thirty five minus twelve, isn't it? So twelve is a small number. Like what was eighty six minus twenty four? We did that. So again, twenty four is not that big a number, and the difference between the two numbers, that is the gap between twenty four and eighty six, it is more, or ninety four minus sixteen. Still, the gap is substantial. But what if if we have to subtract numbers like ninety four minus eighty two, isn't it? Now, if you see the number that is being subtracted, is quite large, and the gap between these two numbers is not much. So, in this case, jumping down ten would be very tedious. You can do that, but it will be very time-consuming. So, the best way is to jump up ten, isn't it? In order to subtract eighty-two from ninety-four, all you need to ask yourself: How much do I need to add to eighty-two to get ninety-four? Okay, so. Eighty-two, jump up ten, you will get ninety-two, and ninety-two plus two is ninety-four. So the answer is twelve, isn't it? Now look here, this is eighty-two, and this is your ninety-four. So jump up ten. 
so you will get 92, isn't it? Now 93, 94, so it would be 10 plus 2, that is 12, isn't that simpler? So let me repeat, whenever the number that is being subtracted is large and the gap between the two numbers is not much, then always instead of jumping down 10, it is always better to jump up 10, alright, just like addition. Let's practice more examples, then you'll understand it even better. Okay, so now find out what is 68 minus 44. So, from 44, you have to reach to 68. So, how would you do that? Jump twice like a rabbit and it will take you to 64. So, 20 and 64 plus 4 is 68. So, 24 is the answer. Now, what is 84 minus 61? So, try it out. From 61, jumping 10 twice will take you to 81. So, this is 20 and you have to reach to 84. So, 3 steps more. So, the answer is 23. Isn't it? This is 20, 21, 22, 23. This is what your answer is. Now, let's see if you can do this one. What is 96 minus 68? So, you have to reach from 68 to 96. So, jumping 3 times will take you to 98. Isn't it? So, this is 30. But you know that you have over jumped. You wanted to reach 96, but you have reached 98. By how much you have over jumped? 2. So, subtract that 2 from 30, answer would be 28. Now, let's try to subtract from 3 date numbers. So, if I ask you what is 136 minus 24, what would your answer be? Again, the same thing, 136 minus 4 is 132. Now, jumping down 10 twice, so it would be 122 and 112. That's your answer. What is 158 minus 36? So, 158 minus 6 is 152 and Jumping down 10 thrice will take you to 122, isn't it? I have done it directly. You can do it step by step if you want. 158 minus 6 is 152, then 142, 132, 122. 122 is the answer. But since I know that 5 minus 3 is 2, so therefore from 152, when I jumped down 10 three times, I immediately said the answer is 122. Now, using the same technique, we would be subtracting a 3 date number from another 3 date number. Only difference would be that instead of jumping up or down 10, we will be jumping up or down 100, okay, and 10 if the need be, alright. So, if I ask you, what is 364 minus 260, what would your answer be? Now, from 260, jumping up 100 would take you to 360 and plus 4 is 364. So, the answer would be 104. I asked you what is 364 minus 260, isn't it? Now, from 265, jump 100. So, I will immediately reach 360. Now, from 360, I have to reach 364. So, I will just add 4. So, this is 100. 1 jump and plus 4 is 104, that is what your answer is. Well, you can jump 10, you can jump 100, you can jump 1000 or you can jump in combination, isn't it? Sometimes you have to jump 100 and then a 10 in order to reach to the answer. So, practice. Okay, now you try this one. What is 564 minus 358? So, 
from 358 jumping 100 twice will take you to 558 isn't it and you have to reach to 564 so you have to add 6 more so the answer would be 206 isn't it I asked you what is 564 minus 358 isn't it now from 358 if you jump 100 twice that is 200 so that is going to take you to 558 now from 558 in order to reach to 564 you have to add 6 so the answer would be 206